During the scorching summer season, certain regions experience extreme heat, aridity, and intense winds during the day. However, as night falls, the temperatures cool down, humidity levels increase, and wind speeds become more favorable for conducting agricultural drone operations. However, due to the weak light and unclear vision at night, drone pilots can easily have fatigue. Therefore, it is crucial to establish a strong sense of security during night operations. The following issues should be taken into consideration. 1. For fragmented plots of land that require extensive manual operations, the risk of night operations is high. It is advisable to conduct operations during the daytime whenever possible. 2. In areas with larger plot sizes and fewer obstacles, night operations can be considered. However, it is essential to utilize automatic operation mode during these times. Additionally, advanced planning of obstacles should be done. Avoid manually bypassing the obstacles. 3. Drone pilots should wear appropriate attire such as a long coat and long pants as well as wearing a headlamp. Carrying Florida water, for example, or anti-mosquito water is essential to prevent mosquito bites. Drone pilots should continuously observe the flight environment. In areas with paddy fields, wearing water shoes is necessary to prevent the entry of water and protect against poisonous snakes and venomous insect bites. 4. Installing roof headlamps is crucial to ensure sufficient lighting in the takeoff and landing areas. These headlamps can be powered by either batteries or generators. After the operation, both manual return and automatic RTH should be continuously monitored regarding the height and speed of the drone in real time. This is crucial to ensure that the drone remains within the designated field and prevent any potential collision accidents caused by accidental flying out of the field. In the case of automatic return, it is advisable to utilize RTK positioning signals for precise localization, enabling the drone to automatically return to its takeoff and landing point. However, if using GNSS signal, it is recommended to discontinue the automatic return function and manually land the drone when nearing the takeoff and landing point. In the event of a crash during night operations, the following steps should be taken to address the situation. 1. Maintain a safe distance of 10 meters from the fallen drone and utilize a headlamp or a powerful flashlight to illuminate the area, enabling a thorough examination to determine the cause of the incident. 2. If the cause of the fall is identified as a common obstacle, promptly get in touch with the local authorized service center to arrange for necessary repairs. 3. In the event that the drone becomes entangled on a high-voltage power line, it is crucial to contact the power supply company immediately to handle the situation safely and efficiently. 4. If the high-voltage power line has already been broken, it is imperative to exercise extreme caution and refrain from approaching the drone or the wire. Evacuate any nearby individuals and promptly notify the power supply company to immediately cut off the power supply, mitigating the risk of electrical accidents. Please ensure that you strictly adhere to the specifications mentioned in this video in order to guarantee flight safety during night operations.